Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Luke, and welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post commentary and critique and reaction videos to basically anything on the internet that interests me. So if any of that interests you, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so that you never miss another upload. Alrighty guys, I hope that you are doing well in quarantine. Hope you're all staying safe, sane, and healthy. And I hope today's video can just be a positive distraction for you. But before we get into it, just to address the elephant in the room, I have no idea what the f my hair is doing. I am looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look like a freaking pineapple. I must have slept in it weirdly, but for some reason it decided to do a middle part instead of going that way. It looks terrible, I know. If you wanna leave a comment about it, that's okay. Um, Self-esteem's a little bit fragile right now, so I'd appreciate it if you were a little bit sensitive. Uh, but without further ado, well, let's just get into it. So, if you have not been keeping up with my channel, I've been doing a reaction series to Tana Mojo's MTV show. I will link the playlist down below if you haven't watched all of them so you can catch up. Because today we are reacting to the season two finale and possibly the finale of the entire series because I don't think it's gonna come back. Honestly, Tana Mojo would have to be really stupid to do another season of this. You know what? I wouldn't put a posture. It might come back. Who really knows? But anyway, guys, enough of this intro. Without further ado, let's get into it because I'm about to dive in to the MTV Tana Mojo No Filter finale. So if you did not watch my previous episode, basically this is like a continuation from the last one where Tana and Amari went to Las Vegas because Amari is getting a nose job and Tana wants to be there to look after him. But while this is all going on, she also has her perfume launching with Jordan and it's on the same day. So that's creating a bit of animosity. And then on top of that, they were staying in kind of like an Airbnb and the owner freaked out and pulled a gun on them. So uh, yeah, you're all caught up to speed now. Today's the big day. I came to Vegas to get my septioplasty and Tana came with me to take care of me. But after last night's chaos, Tana and I decided to check into a hotel, but she's nowhere to be found. Is anyone surprised? Anyone? You? No? You? No? You? No? <laughs> if you're wondering who I'm talking to, it's my reflection. So. <laughs> if it doesn't get more conceited than that. No, honestly, I'm just trying to make it feel like I have company. Get off my back. <gasps> I'm kidding. <laughs> Taylor's just really tired because we went to bed super late. Uh -huh. I'm really tired too. So I went up there to like wake her up this morning. And first of all, she asked me the same question 7,000 times. She's like, do you want me to come? Do you want me to come? And I was like, bitch, yes, I've told you 8,000 times. My mom wants you there, obviously, too. I can just imagine how Tana would have done that. She would have been like, okay, so okay, like you so do like, want, you me, want, to want me to come? Are you sure? Are you like, sure? You like you definitely, definitely want me to come. come. But you do, but you, do you do in fact want me to come? Are you, are you sure you want me to come? I hate it when people do that, when it's like you can clearly tell they don't want to do something, so they just repeat it back to you. She's totally that type of person. Also, the entire reason you came to Vegas was because of this. On top of the fact that she's like sleeping, her perfume launches today at 2 p.m. Are you gonna be awake for that? She was also planning on flying out today. I mean, I hope she shows up. You came to Vegas for this. Today is the day of the perfume launch. Tana started posting about a secret announcement earlier this week, and it's been an incredible response. So this is a really, really big day for us. We have the commercial ready, we have the website ready, we have all of the products ready to go, everything is ready for shipping. All we need to do is get a description ready for the website by 2 p.m. No, Jordan, please don't just like do this. I've been writing the description and everything for like days. Like I researched, like you would have no idea how to do it. Like it's like I had to write about like all the top notes and all that kind of stuff. So please wait for me to get it to you. I'm gonna try giving her a call. Oh, it's the launch of her perfume. She's not done the description and she's not answering her manager's phone call. I'm genuinely not surprised. I'd be more surprised if she was organized. I haven't heard from Tana yet. I know that she's supposed to be at Amari's surgery right now, so I'm assuming that she's gonna text me or call me very, very shortly. I remember waking up and I see like two nurses and they're just looking at me. So they let my mom in. She comes in alone and I'm like, where is Tana? I don't have any missed calls, any missed texts from her. So I'm assuming she's asleep, which is kind of annoying. Oh my God, that's so mean. Came all the way there for that. She got his hopes up. She's such a bad friend. I'm really curious to hear what her excuse is. If it's just cause she slept in, y'all there's no coming back from that. My first choice definitely is to not go home to my parents' house, but I really have no choice anymore because Miss Tana Marie decided to sleep in and Mr. Amari Anthony can't be alone, fresh out of surgery. My mom was really counting on her. 
to be here. I don't know who's gonna take care of me now. I'm gonna call Tana. Called has a voice mailbox that is not that's actually so heartbreaking like why did you even come she had some anxiety about it last night so maybe she's just a little too overwhelmed yeah but she's not allowed to like not come i think I don't she know. just I'm preferred here. sleeping over supporting me and being there i mean he do be speaking facts though did he lie did he lie did I I know Tana's been going through a lot lately with her physical health, her mental health, and fighting with Jordan, but it still honestly kind of sucks not having her here with me because she said she was going to be here. Yeah, it's honestly no excuse. You can't keep using your mental health as an excuse for everything, Tana. It's not how the world works, sweetie. Hey, sir. How are you feeling? I, I feel great. Debbie's here. Hi. Hey, so, Tana. Bitch ass Tana. Did not show up. And I'm really concerned about who's gonna be taking care of him back at that hotel room because he insists on being there, and I can't. How do you go to Vegas just for this purpose, just to be there for Amari? It's hard to fathom that she would miss this and sleep through it. Really? Because I don't, I don't feel like it's that hard to fathom if I do things on myself. You just had surgery. You should have somebody there. Right. And he has to like keep these things on him for not getting blood clots, and he has to like have someone watch his medication to where he's taking it at the right times for the next few days. Tana said she was coming here for this because I didn't take the days off of work. She wants to take care of Amari too. Oh no, she's flying she's out. She's talking about leaving today. On a jet sweep. You had talked about her staying tonight. She was supposed to stay today and tomorrow. What do you mean she staying said yesterday. Tonight? She was ready to blast yesterday. The last time I heard Amari this upset with Tana was on a tour where he left. And they didn't speak for like two months after that. So this is definitely a situation that could affect their friendship. I mean, there's not much I can say. Tana being a bad friend, like it's not much of a stretch. Trying to fix Tana again. We're 15 minutes from launch. I still haven't heard from Tana. I honestly don't know what to do. She hasn't picked up her phone. She hasn't answered her texts, and I'm getting a little concerned. I, um, can you connect me with a room? Tana, M-O-N-G-E-A-U. They had a crazy night last night. They have crazy nights, many nights. I sincerely don't think that's an excuse. Yeah, neither do I. It's pathetic. Just straight up pathetic, isn't it? I don't care. Amari woke up. Every single other person woke up. Where's Tana? <clears throat> so she's obviously not answering and still sleeping. Yeah. The problem is she already missed like everything today. It's crazy how much is being affected just by the mere fact that she is sleeping in. Like look at this mess that she's creating. She doesn't realize how many people are depending on her. You know, she's the rich bitch with all of these people who re are relying on her and she brought these people into her life and look how they're being treated. It's ridiculous that they all have to baby her like this and she's a grown ass woman. Oh, this is not a good look, Tana. Having to, um, you know, apologize for Tana's tardiness is not something that I'm, I'm new to. This one is, is particularly upsetting because because it's just been such a monumental process that everybody was in on, including Tana. So having to tell her partners now that she's just not even answering her phone, it sucks. I mean, it's embarrassing as her manager. So she was supposed to write the description, but like obviously she's sleeping through. I just wrote this. Also, why hasn't she done it? How long does it take to write a description? It's like two sentences. She told her audience that she's launching today, so she has to launch today. I mean, we literally just had this discussion of how important it was to launch today because of the Chinese New Year and because of Valentine's and hitting that actual date for shipping. Even if her fans are okay with waiting, it's just really frustrating. Would you give me the thumbs up? I'll just put it live. So if you can just make sure that everything is the way it needs to be with the promotions. I have logins to every social media account she has, but when it comes to posting and promoting and being the content creator, that's Tana. That's her job. Tana needs to be the one to actually execute this launch. 100%, like he should not have to do these things. It's not that hard. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, you need to just eat this right now. Okay. Hey. How do you feel? Are you in any pain? Oh no, honey. Uh, Want to come here and take care of me or something? Did Tana not show up? No, she didn't come. I'm She's sorry. still sleeping at her hotel. Of course I'll come and take care of you. Wait, really? I'll do anything. Wow. Trevor's gonna come all the way from LA to Las Vegas to look after Amari. That is how you know he's a true friend. That is so sweet of him. Oh my God. What makes me a good nurse is that I follow the rules. I'm gonna follow the rules as bitch. So change your gods every hour. Everything that's on this aftercare sheet, I'm gonna make sure 
that he's doing it. I'll find a way to drive up there. I love you. I love you. Bye, Debbie. Bye. Thank you for taking me to my appointment today and like making sure I didn't die. I love you, you're my baby. I love you too. Oh my God, it's so cute. Imagine having a good relationship with your mom. <laughs> Can't relate. So now three hours uh, past when we wanted the perfume to go live and I still have not heard from Tana. I'm trying to check out what's being said online, what the mood is of the partners who are all now waiting. I've had uh, our MTV crew knocking on her door for hours. I've had the hotel staff calling her room. How has she not woken up? Tana, you gotta be kidding me. Do you still wanna do this today? I mean, do you wanna say anything? Like anything about like why it's five and you're calling me right now? It's five. She woke up at five p.m. But you know exactly. Why. But you know we had a launch today, right? Yeah, we didn't sleep like nightmares. I thought you were going to. You thought he would be fine with sleeping through the launch of your perfume. She's acting so cavalier about this. That it. One of my biggest pet peeves is people who don't respect others' times. I think it is so selfish to think that your time is more important than others and to leave people hanging dry like this. Ooh, cut down those people out your life. Yeah, we didn't sleep like nightmares. I thought you were going to. You thought I'd be fine with you sleeping through the launch of this? No, I mean, like, after what happened last night, like, trying to not sleep I was telling you I didn't want to do this now. I don't know what to say. When did you tell me you didn't want to do this now? Last night. That's so a lie. That's a lie. Your lack of acknowledgement is astonishing. Yours too, though. Like, Tana, a, a simple apology is would be really good right now. Oh, okay, then I'm sorry. Okay, what are you sorry for? Being super traumatized and like having nightmares and sleeping all day from it. You're so insensitive, it's crazy. Well, you know- Oh my God, I love how she tries to like turn it around on him and blame him. Like, Tana, literally all you had to do was wake up and tweet about your perfume. That's literally it. It's not that hard. Do you know who else was there? Amari and the entire crew? I process things differently. I, you know, I've like almost died a lot in my life. Like I don't really like like thinking about it, helping me. Super bad PTSD from it. You super know that. Oh my God, it's just my super PTSD. You just super know that. Like, I'm sorry, it gets to a point in life where it's like, yes, you have mental problems, but you cannot blame everything on that. That's not an excuse for everything. That's not the way the world works. Like, that's not it. Like I once crashed my car because I was in a really bad depressive wave, but I didn't say to the cops, oh, I'm sorry, I'm depressed. Don't give me a fine. Like, it's not, that's not the way the world works, Tana. That's not how you can operate. God, I just hate the way Jordan thinks. It's fine that you almost got shot last night. Amari got up for surgery, so like, you can do it too. That's so stupid. I've definitely gone through a lot when it comes to guns. So I, I ended up spending hours in bed just having like such bad nightmares of like every single time I've ever had like a gun to my head or my friends were shot, or, like whatever. And it's like, now I'm supposed to wake up and launch a perfume. My supportive diehard fans would never want me to release something in such a state of trauma. I get that. Look, I get how traumatic that would have been for her and I've never experienced. I'm um, actually, I have because I'm from South Africa. So I have experienced gun violence, but I like, it's not something that affects me because I live in Australia where we don't have that. But Tana, that can be a valid thing, but you, it doesn't hurt to apologize or to let Jordan know in advance that you can't do this right now. It's the fact that you don't do those things. That's the problem. Not the fact that you are struggling with the trauma. Like I'm sure no Nobody's denying how traumatic that would have been, but like it's what you do because of that and, and around that, if you guys get what I mean. Uh. I've been talking to Amari all day. You also missed his surgery. Amari's like really, really hurt. Really? Okay, I'm gonna go check on Amari and then just call you back about the perfume. Well, Tana, do you want to launch right now? Because that's what everyone is waiting on. Why would I want to launch my brand? I can't even think straight. I'm super excited to get tomorrow. Everything's like right. Oh my god. I'm like waking up out of PTSD nightmares from last night. The last thing I want to do is get on my Snapchat and be like, what's up, you guys? I'm so happy about my perfume. That's a lie. I don't want to lie to my fans like that. All I care about right now is that my best friend is like alive and okay. And I just want to go check on him and see if he needs anything. Well, you didn't seem to care about that when you didn't wake up to go to his appointment with him like you promised. So it's like, what do you want to do right now? Keep yelling at me like always or like move forward? And, no, like, it's not yelling. Like, it's, it's just about acknowledgement and understanding or you understanding or me knowing that you understand any level yeah. of how frustrating just, this is time and time again. Not just today, not just yesterday, not just the day before, not the day before that. It's every single thing we do. It's about time Jordan spoke up, finally. Anyway, we're getting nowhere. Thank you so much for this call oh, and for helping that. everything it's today. I don't know, man. Apparently nothing I do matters. So why don't you just decide and then tell me when it's ready? Tell me whatever you want to do. To begin with. I mean, it is my company. Yes, but you would not have it in the first place if it wasn't for Jordan and the rest of the partners. She doesn't realize that there are other things at play, that there are other people involved. Oh my God. I would think after the last year of my life and everything Jordan and I have been through, 
that we would be at a place where we understand each other more than ever. You're my family, Jordan. Ew, I hated touching you. There are so many things about my life that are exhausting, but why is the number one thing my manager? See how she's placing all the blame on Jordan? She's like taking no level of responsibility. It's so beyond immature. I know that the money that Jordan makes for me is like 90% of his income. Your entire life is like working off of my business. Why are you not letting me make any decisions about it like it's yours? I'm just so sick of feeling like it's Jordan's way or the highway. He's trying to make the best decisions for you. He's trying to help you. Like if Jordan was to just leave you by and let you make all the decisions yourself, what would be the point of him even being a manager? Like that's what a manager is for. You think honestly Tana Mojo could run her career without him? Because she couldn't. I'm sorry, something really bad and traumatic happened to me last night. Held me back a little. Deflection, deflection. Not deflecting, that's what happened last night. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. I can honestly say I've never been this disappointed in Tana in my entire life, actually, just because I was so nervous going into this. You never know what could go wrong, and it just made me sad because you really never know what's gonna happen, and you should never take life for granted. Oh, wow. I got you this. <laughs> Thank you. I got you this. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. How do things go? Uh, good. What uh, is this? <clears throat> it's to prevent, like, blood clots. I like, to get, like, blood circulation in my legs or something like that. I don't know. What can I do for you? Nothing. You suck. Period! Really? You really let me down, honestly. I don't ask you for your time, because I know to you your time is very valuable. It's more valuable than everybody else's, apparently. It just sucks, because I feel like there are so many instances where, like, you ask me to do stuff for you, and then, like, I'll say no, and then you're like, I would do it for you, and I'm like, okay. Every instance that I've asked you to do something, you're just not there. I really thought you just, like, didn't give a what did Thought do? Like, he told you how much he cared. Bitch, I told you literally know, so many times. I know, I know, I know, but you're just very emotionless. You're like, what? It's whatever. Like, I just, like, I'm... I never said it's whatever. You said, do you want me to come? I literally said yes. Damn, okay. Like, you were, I'm so wrong. <laughs> Going into it, like, you were literally the only thing that could make me feel better. I'm so like... sorry. I'm, like, that is, like, that is literally heartbreaking to me. I had no idea Amari was gonna be upset with me, but I feel terrible that he is. How delusional can she be? I'm genuinely confused. How is she surprised that he is upset with her? That she didn't come with him? When that's what he asked you to do, that's the whole reason you were coming. Like, how delusional must you be? The only reason I flew out here was to take care of him and be there for him. And now here I am just looking like the most unreliable piece of ever. At least she's like a tad self-aware. I'm sorry. I'm like, do I, I even ask her to like come with me and do stuff with me anymore? Like that's like big because it's like, will she even go? Like, oh can I count God. on her? I'm sorry. And I don't want anyone else to come. Your, your life is literally the only life that means anything to me on this entire planet. That's literally why I'm so upset today because I'm like, Jordan, we didn't have to have the perfume launch on the day of Amari's surgery. That's not the reason you didn't show up though. St <sighs> she keeps trying to, she keeps trying to place blame on everybody else. Oh my God, just take responsibility like why are you trying to like set me up to like fail but you didn't either like your perfume launch was at two yeah but like, like we got a gun pulled last night and i had nightmares all night and, like, Jordan, you... and jordan doesn't care about that oh my god y'all this is the most infuriating thing this is by far the most infuriating episode I and mean, there oh ooh, there has been some but this this is frustrating to watch tana's saying that the situation with the bmp last night is the whole reason why she wasn't at the surgery today and i'm just like that's complete bull Tana has this track history of sleeping through everything, so I don't take it as an excuse. I do, in fact, be on a period. You had planned on leaving already, like before anything happened last night to with the gun stuff. The no, it's Trevor's coming. <laughs> you can go back to LA. I know you but like I have want stuff you, you want to like do. This. No, nothing matters to me. You realize like nothing on earth matters to me more than you, right? I mean, she always says that, but her actions are not showing. And actions speak louder than words. People who are all talk snip those motherfuckers at your life. Period. It just doesn't feel like that. If Amari's upset, I'm upset. And I'm fully gonna take the fault and the blame here. If you wanted me there, I should have powered through it and gone. And it's just like letting your best friend down. It's just the worst feeling in the world to me. I'm sorry because you mean the world to me. I know Tana cares about me and I care about her so much and it's impossible to stay mad at her. I don't want you to think <laughs> I like, don't care. It's literally just a surgery. Yes, it's important, but we're going to face a billion more important things as we conquer life together. Yes, that's true. But like, this is a pattern of behavior that she keeps repeating. Like, if you're not seeing improvements from somebody, if you are addressing your friend and telling them what they're doing is upsetting you and they're not making any changes, clearly that person should not be in your life anymore. But see, it's 
difficult with Mari and all of them because they've built their life off of Tana. Their careers are attached to her. They live with her. When you're that connected with somebody, there's no escaping them, even if you wanted to. And that's why being codependent is so dangerous. You can count on me from now on. I'm sorry. I'm like, can I get it in writing? Yes, yes. <laughs> it just screams unhealthy to me. It just seems like his switch was flipped so quickly from being mad to her to not. This just seems manipulative to me. This just don't seem healthy. I'm gonna stay. You can. Well, I am. I was really hoping 2020 would be like a little more chill. Okay, well, <laughs> I think we all were. <laughs> uh, Miss Rona had other plans. I can't believe it's only the end of January. With how much I've been working, how much I've been going through with Jake, and how much my health has been failing, I definitely feel like I've gone through a lot of things that have forced me to grow up a lot. Really? Because it doesn't seem like you've grown up at all. I just am so confused when it comes to Tana because you have instances like that friggin' hour and 10 minute video that she made, which by the way, I made a video on that if you haven't seen that, where she speaks and what she's saying sounds mature and it's like, okay, maybe she has grown, but then you see stuff like this, which by the way, she cannot blame this on the edit. Like you done did what you did sis and your behavior in this is despicable it doesn't show any growth it shows a complete disregard for other people's feelings and other people's time and it shows immaturity so i don't know what growth she's talking about because the only growth that i see is maybe the growth in your following and your bank account but that doesn't equate to being a good person <laughs> wow i kind of snapped but i also feel like i still have a lot more growing up to do i love you <laughs> i love you too now get it within four weeks still what? Okay, um, anyway, <laughs> Charles sold Tana by Tana sold out in 76 minutes. Tana and Trevor stayed in Las Vegas for the next two days, nursing Amari back to hell. It took a few weeks and apologies on both ends, but Tana and Jordan's relationship is back to normal. Wow, okay, I guess that's it. That seemed like a really weird finale and a really weird place to end off the series. There are so many unanswered things, so many things that didn't get completed. I personally, what I think is I think that Tana told MTV that she wanted the show over, so they had to wrap it up quick because this just did not seem like a logical ending. Like there were so many unanswered questions like about her health, about Jake, like all these different things. But honestly, it is what it is. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well, I guess that's the end of this. This is such a bittersweet moment. I mean, I guess it's sweet, because because we can take a break from this, you know, restore some of the brain cells we lost, but also bitter because, you know, this has been fun and I really enjoy watching the show and reacting to it for you guys. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you thought. And if you have not already, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so you never miss another upload from me. And if you've not already, follow me on my social media, just link down below, as well as the links to my second channel and my merch if you want to check out any of those. And yeah, just thank you guys for all of your support on this series and the support of my channel recently we recently hit 200,000 subscribers which is crazy so thank you so much guys but yeah that's it for me in this video i'll catch you in my next one hopefully i hope you are staying safe sane and healthy during these times and as always i hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world bye